Welcome to the Jaron Jarvis channel. I am Jaron Jarvis. Today, I would like to introduce to you, I didn't have many friends as a kid. The other kids all thought I was strange growing up. They didn't really get me and I didn't get them. I guess that's probably because I'm on the autism spectrum, but that's not really the main focus of this story. I had a hard time making and keeping friends so I'd often just play by myself in my room, living vicariously through my stuffed animals who all had families and friends, a government, set leader, etc. They were my friends for a long time other than my dog and a safe few special people. I guess I'd say it all started in full force when I was 10. I'd see a woman in white following me, and I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. She wore a white dress and had black long hair, like the girl in the ring. I would only see her out of the corner of my eye at first. I brush it off as sleep deprivation and not think much of it. After a month or so, I had a somewhat jarring experience with her however. One day, when walking to my mom's room to raid it for candies, she had candies in a drawer once when I was six and ever since then I'd search for some, I happened to glance into the bathroom. The door was open, the light off, and the mirror facing toward me. Instead of seeing my reflection however, a ten-year-old boy with short brown hair, I saw the woman. Terrified, I hightailed it back into the living room, slamming the hallway door shut, and immediately turned to YouTube for comfort. She started appearing more and more. On one occasion when my mom was working late, the laptop stopped working. The screen was facing the hallway. When the screen went black I saw the woman in the reflection, standing at the end of the hall. Watching me. Just staring. I nearly shit myself right there. It continued that way for a long time, her just watching me and me only able to see her in reflections. It all stopped once I was around 12 and I thought I was rid of her. I never thought to mention her to anyone because I thought they'd put me in a mental hospital and that was one of my biggest fears at the time, still is. But, all good things must come to an end. Around the time I was 13 or so, she came back. I could only see her in dreams now, but I could feel her and hear her. There were other things that joined her as well things much scarier than her. Once, I awoke to find an arm coming from the end of my bed, its hand wrapped around my ankle. Before I could scream, it pulled me quickly and with ease until my feet hit the fence-type frame at the end of the bed. I didn't sleep the rest of that night. The last encounter I had with her I was in middle school still. I was having trouble sleeping when suddenly I heard a breathing coming from under my bed. You might say it was just a vent, but I had no vents under my bed, the vent was across the room and the breathing was definitely under the bed. It slowly crept up the side of my bed until it was right behind me. I felt arms wrap around my body, a breath down my neck, and heard a girl's voice telling me she loved me. For once, I wasn't scared. I felt that she was my protector. The bad things didn't bother me much if at all after that last visit from her. I'm not sure who or what she was, and if she was ever a threat but it's one thing I doubt I'll forget and looking back, I see her as a childhood friend, albeit scary. I apologize if anything doesn't make sense btw, it's been about 20 hours since I last slept so if something doesn't make sense, ask and I'll try to answer.